if you have diabetes, if you have hypertension, if you have a kidney problem, right, those issues may not necessarily be of a concern. It can only be of a concern if it affects you to the point where you cannot pretty much do anything, right? But there are four diseases and a couple of lifestyle, uh, uh, health-related lifestyle issues that can cause your visa to be denied. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. This is the journey with the young trust and thank you all for those that have subscribed and for those that haven't subscribed, we'll please encourage you to go ahead and subscribe. Today, I want to talk to you about the medical um, requirements for the DV lottery. Right. So for those of you that have already been selected and you've had your interview, you will know that there is a medical um, aspect for the DV lottery and if you are hoping to be selected know that there will be some sort of medicals required and majority of people are always wondering what exactly goes into the medicals will I be disqualified if I have like diabetes or if I have any form of disability or if I have an issue with my vision or my hearing. All right, so I want to uh, dispel any myth or any form of lies that you have been told, right? The main reason behind conducting the medicals as part of the immigrant, um, you know, visa processes, and since the DV lottery is uh, a form of immigrant visa not a non-immigrant visa it is required that you have medicals and the purpose for taking the medicals is to ensure that you don't have any diseases or illnesses that is considered of signif a significant public health interest okay so if you have diabetes, if you have hypertension, if you have a kidney problem, right, those issues may not necessarily be of a concern. It can only be of a concern if it affects you to the point where you cannot pretty much do anything, right? But there are four diseases and a couple of lifestyle, uh, re uh, health-related lifestyle issues that can cause your visa to be denied and i'm going to talk to you about these four diseases so that you are going to be fully aware and get yourself ready and get treatment as soon as possible so diving into the four diseases which can uh, prevent you from getting your dv lottery um, visa Number one is syphilis. Number two is gonorrhea. So you can see that both of them are sexually related diseases, right? So um, as I mentioned earlier on, they don't want you to come and be of a public charge or end up spreading a disease or end up resorting to the public funds for your treatment, right? So. Uh, they want to make sure that you get treatment before you are approved for the visa. And the third one is leprosy. The fourth one being tuberculosis, which um, if you are coming from a country where tuberculosis is prone or you have tuberculosis, they are going to do an x-ray. They are going to do all sort of tests, you know, regarding all these things. There are not going to be so much concern. It is not like an annual fiscal where they are going to be concerned about whether you have a chronic disease or not, right? So it's pretty much um, these four diseases, these four diseases, syphilis, gonorrhea, leprosy, and tuberculosis. And I know that tuberculosis may be an issue for um, many people, right? So with these four diseases, it does not necessarily 
deny you of your visa but what happens is that if you come that you complete the medicals and it is discovered that you have any of these four diseases you will be required to be put on a treatment and this treatment can you know sometimes last for weeks 10 weeks and up so we all know how it is even difficult to get um an interview day right or for your case number to come up for you to get an interview day so that it becomes a challenge if you have any of these diseases um syphilis gonorrhea or tuberculosis and you have to be put on a treatment and it's going to prevent you if uh, there's no more time within that year for you to be able to go back and um, complete your interview right so guys i'll strongly encourage you that if you have any of these go ahead and seek treatment um, you know stay sexually safe protect yourself make sure that you are sticking to one partner you know this is in relation to the syphilis and gonorrhea and also uh, you know as far as the tuberculosis are concerned just just if you're anticipating to be selected or if you have won start the treatment now even before you are called for um, an interview right the other health related lifestyle issues that i want to talk to you about that can also deny you is also if you have like um, a drug or substance abuse issue whether you are uh, you know any any form of illegal hard drugs or even um, too much intake of alcohol right if it is in excess where they see that if you migrate to the united states you are going to end up uh, becoming a public charge where you will not be able to fully function you will not be able to work and you end up having to be on a disability and uh, relying on the government to take care of you then you can be denied of your visa right you can be denied of your visa there are also um, you know certain form of disabilities or uh, you know mental health disorders with um, you know very negative uh, associated behaviors or aggressive behaviors um, you know, it has to be in extreme form because in america over here in america they have so many rights that protect people that are on disabilities or so they would not necessarily deny you of your visa because you have a disability however if they see that you become a public child that is you cannot take care of yourself you rely on others to take care of you you cannot even work and 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 um some of these things then you can definitely be denied your visa so um strongly encourage you these four diseases and these uh, lifestyle behaviors take note of them and make sure that if you are probably uh, in any of these diseases you've already taken the steps to seek treatment um, so that uh, you will not become a public charge and you will not be denied a visa because all these things are regulated by uh, you know the the USCI, which is the United States Citizenship and Immigration Services, and they go according to the uh, CDC. The CDC is like the World Health Organization version in the United States, which is the Centers for Disease Prevention, uh, for Disease Control and Prevention. Right, so they set aside these things. So the four diseases. Um, the health lifestyle even also there will be vaccinations guys you need to meet the basic vaccinations so vaccinations such as you know tetanus uh, measles rubella those uh, vaccinations that are given when you are in your childhood so um uh, this video is not necessarily responding to any specific needs so if you have any questions just go ahead and use the um, comment section below and let's get interactive bring your question and we'll be happy to assist you thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe